Today in my computer science class, we talked about loops in real life. Loops are kind of this abstract thing in code. It's difficult to understand this whole repeat thing, especially when you're just looking at the raw code of it. Not super simple. So we talked about it in real life. I'm going to put a link to this paper that I'm going over in the description of this video. So if you want to do it with me because you're learning about loops, awesome. Or if you're a teacher and you would like to use this in your class, again, it is linked down below in the description to my video. So let's see what we have here. Real life loops. Okay, so uh, we have a person arrow door and then there is a stop sign here, obviously. Okay. So we have this person walking this way headed towards this door. All right. Describe what is happening in the picture. Huh? Well, that seems pretty straightforward. Um, let's say I'll say a person walks to a door. Boom. All right. That sounds good to me. A person is walking towards the door. What action is being repeated? So what is happening here again and again and again over and over and over? Well, if we were saying like we did, this person is moving to the door. Well, to move to the door, they have to do what? Well, they would have to take one step and another step and another step over and over and over. So what action is re being repeated? Stepping. Stepping is being repeated or steps. Right? So that's the action repeated. When does the repeated action stop? Oh, okay. Well, when will this stop? Step, step, you can probably do another step here. And then work. So when will it stop? Well, I'm not sure if they're going to get to the door and then stop or they have to stop at the door because it's locked. But regardless, it looks like it's going to stop. When will it stop? Uh, person reaches door. Because if they're at the door, uh, it's over. It, it stops. They, they can't go through the door. So that's when it stops. All right. Now here comes something a bit trickier. I asked my students to then take this stuff and write it into what we call pseudocode or fake code. So I'm going to write mine in JavaScript fake code because that's what my students are learning. So I need to make this into a loop. So we're going to write this in fake code. We are doing JavaScript in my class. So to do that, we're going to use a wall loop, wall, and then parentheses. I'm just going to put down the structure of it, bracket, and then the closing bracket down here. Okay. And then let's see. First of all, in a loop, whatever you want to repeat, that's going to be what goes inside of our loop. So this is the inside of our loop. What do we want to repeat? Hmm. We want, well, our action to be repeated. We want this person to repeat taking a step. So inside of my loop, I'm going to say step. Okay, I'm going to put a semicolon. That's traditional in JavaScript. So that's the action that's going to happen over and over and over. Now, when should that action stop? Okay, because that's what's going to go up here. Wall. Hmm. Well, we want the person to take steps until when? Until at door. So I'm going to write, and it will make sense in a second, not at door. Now, why did I write not at door? Whatever is here, whatever goes in between these parentheses, Whenever it is true, if this is true, then our code will run. 
So, not our code, the loop. So if this is true, it will say, okay, that's true. I'm going to run everything in between this bracket and this bracket. So it then drops down and runs this. So what happens in our situation over here with our person walking? Wall, not at door. Okay, well, am I at the door? No, I'm not at the door. Okay, well then, oh, bracket, I'm going to drop down. And what am I going to do? I will then take one step forward. Now I'm here. Okay. Now I hit the bottom of my loop. Oh, okay. Well, that means I got to go back up to the top. Wall, not at door. Well, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Am I at the door yet? No, I'm not at the door yet. So that means I'm going to drop down into my loop. Step. Okay. I'm going to take another step and I step forward again. Okay. So maybe I'm, I don't know, here. All right. And then I hit the bottom of my loop. All right. Well, now I not got to go back to the top and check. Wall, not at door. All right. Well, am I at the door yet? Hmm. Nope. Okay. I'm not at the door. So I drop down into my code. All right. Well, now I can take a step. So I take another step because I'm still not at the door. Oop, there we are. And then I hit the bottom of my code, my loop. And now I need to go back up here. Wall, not at door. All right. Well, am I at the door? Not yet. I'm going to take one more step. Okay, there I am. And then I hit the bottom of my code. I go back up to here to the top of this loop. Wall, not at door. Well, wait a minute. I'm, huh, I'm at the door. So not at door, false. That's now false because I'm at the door. That's not true. False, I'm at the door. And if there was other code down here, that's what would run. Whatever happens, I am now done with this and I am going to be running whatever is down here. So my loop is over once this action is complete. I'm going to undo crossing that all out because I want to make sure you have that. All right. So my students and I went through this. And if you're my student, we went through this. We talked about this and then we're making our own loops. Let's try to do the next one. And I bet it will get easier. Describe what is happening in this picture. All right. Well, person cutting grass, maybe. Right. Something like that. Guy cutting grass. I'm just going to say a uh, person mowing lawn. OK, now what action is being repeated? What's happening over and over and over and over again? Hmm. Well, he's. I don't know, pushing mower forward. Okay, pushing the mower forward, right? Because each time he's moving the mower a little bit more forward, a little bit more forward. When does that, when does the repeated action stop? Huh, when will that stop? When is he no longer going to push the mower forward? Well, as someone whose chore was to cut the grass all the time, I can tell you, at least in my house, you did not get to stop cutting the grass until, bum ba da dum all the grass was cut and it took forever. So when does it stop? When the lawn is cut. Okay, pushing mower. I'm going to move this a bit. Rah. Pushing mower. I guess I'll just write below it. Oh, that's supposed to say forward. All right. So now let's see. Let's make again a loop. So still using JavaScript-ish code. I'm going to write wall because we are using our wall loops. Okay, I'm going to have some parentheses here to let us know when this loop should stop running. Bracket. I'm going to drop down to here for the end of our loop. Bracket. Wall, blink. Now let's first write what repeats. Okay, because whatever is getting repeated, that's what goes in the middle of a code. So in the middle of a loop. What's getting repeated? Well, let me see here. What's being repeated? Oh, push mower forward. All right. So inside of my loop, then I'm going to write push mower forward. And then in JavaScript, I do need a semicolon here. Okay. So I'm going to push my mower forward. 
Now, when do I get to stop? Well, when I stop is when the lawns cut. So why, why, how long do I want this to be true? Remember, wall loops, a loop is only going to repeat if whatever's in this part here is true. So we need whatever this is to be true in order to cut the grass. So if I say, if I put here, lawn, well, I should have deleted all the junk I wrote in there. If I put here, whoops. Right, if I write in here, get in there. If I write in here, lawn, cut, All right? Barely, but you get the idea. If I write lawn cut, this is an issue because our code's gonna run and say, well, lawn is cut. Okay, true, lawn's cut. And if that's true, it will then drop in and say, well, push the mower forward. Wait a minute, I just said true, the lawn is cut. I don't wanna be running this loop then. So if I have lawn cut here, it's gonna then always run the loop when the lawn is cut. It's always gonna try to push a mower forward when our lawn is already cut. That's not what we want. We only wanna do the repeated action when the grass needs to be cut. So we could say when grass not cut, when there's still grass to cut. I'm just gonna say for short, when there's, what I'm gonna check is, is there still, grass. So if there's still long grass to cut, is there still grass? We're going to push that mower forward. All right. So what happens then? Wall, still grass. Okay. My guy's going to say, huh, is there still grass here? Yes, there is. So if there's still grass, this is true. And then we drop down into our code. He will push the lawnmower a little bit more forward. Okay. Then I hit the bottom of my loop, I go back up to the top, and I say, wall, still grass. Well, the guy should look around and check, is there still grass? If this is true, then it drops down into our loop and we push the lawnmower forward, okay? And then it's gonna repeat. Well, is there still grass? Say this is false now. Nope, I am all done, all of the grass is cut. So no, there's not still grass. That means this equals false, and that's when a loop stops, okay? But that is what our loop would look like. Okay, let's keep it going. We can finish up these next two a bit quicker. All right, describe what's happening in the picture. Um, dribbling the ball. Okay, what action's being repeated? I would say dribbling. Hey, he's push. He's dribbling the ball up and down, up and down. When does the repeated action stop? Huh? Look over here. It's gonna stop. Apparently, he's only doing it five times. So after five, I'll say, because he will only be doing that five times. So why not after five times? All right. And now let's see what we have here, our loop. To make this into a loop, just like we did before, we're gonna write wall, we have some parentheses here and here, and then we have a bracket and a bracket down here, okay? First up, what's getting repeated? What do we want to happen over and over and over again? Well, for this one, it is dribbling. That is getting ha repeated over and over and over again. Now, so as long as this is true, whenever this is true, our code will run. So we want that to be true up until when? When do we want him to dribble till? We want him to dribble until five. So I'm going to put up here then is, I'm not going to be able to fit it all. I'm going to try to squeeze, dribble. Ah. Yeah, I'll shorthand this. All right, let's try it this way. What I'm gonna put up here is dribble less than sign 
five. So what our code will do then is say wall dribble less than five. All right, has he dribbled at all? Oh, nope, he hasn't dribbled at all yet. So it will hit this, right? And says, okay, I need to run. I need to run then whatever is in here. Droop. Dribbling. Okay, I need to dribble. I'll dribble. Hit the bottom of my code. Go back to the top of my loop. All right, so I just had one dribble. Wall dribbles less than five. Huh. Have I dribbled less than five times? Yeah, I've only dribbled once. So I drop down and I dribble again. Okay, and maybe I should have... Maybe I should have just said dribble with an E, right? And then it repeats, okay? And so now we have dribbled twice, okay? And then it hits this, goes back to the top. Is dribble still less than five? Yep, it's only at two. Drops down, we dribble again. We dribble a third time, goes back around. And I think you get the picture. This last one's super fast. She is swinging up and down. So what's happening? She is swinging. What's being repeated? Um, moving. Uh, no, no, no. They don't call that moving legs. They say she. Uh, what's being repeated? She's pumping her feet. Pumping feet, I will say. Or pumping legs. Right? You don't pump your feet. You pump your legs. When does the repeated action stop? I had students be funny with this. So if you're my student, you could say when she's tired, when she wants to get off. I had someone say forever. She clearly needs to swing forever. She is loving it. I'm going to say, uh, when does it stop? When she uh, gets off swing. All right, when she's done swinging, that's when it stops. So again, super fast. Let's do a wall loop. Wall, parenthesis, parenthesis, bracket, bracket, okay? What action is being repeated? That would go here. She's going to pump legs. That's what's getting repeated, pumping her legs, okay? When does she stop? When she gets off the swing, she stops. So when should she do it if she's on the swing? So I will check on swing. So wall, is she on the swing? If she is, I need to pump my legs because that will, I'll go up, uh, I will be able to swing, okay? So I pump my legs, I hit the bottom of my loop and I go back to the top. Wall on swing. Yep, I'm on the swing, okay. So I'm gonna drop down into my code, pump my legs. Okay, I'm gonna pump my legs, boop. Now I'm going to go back to the top. Wall on swing. Am I on the swing? Yep, still on the swing. Okay, I'm going to pump my legs. And she'll keep going until she's done. So that is real life loops. And that's it explained. Again, I'll put the actual link to this document in the description if you want to use it or work through it yourself.